The illegal Russian offensive has been swift, callous, and brutal. It's barbaric. Putin's illegal occupation of Kyiv and the impending Chinese blockade of Taiwan has created a two-front national security crisis that requires more troops than the volunteer military can supply. I have received guidance from General Milley, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, that the recommended way forward will be to invoke the Selective Service Act, as is my authority as President. The first to be called in a sequence determined by national lottery will be men and women whose 20th birthday falls during calendar year 2023. Remember, you're not sending your sons and daughters to war. You're sending them to freedom. God bless our troops and God bless Ukraine. Artificial intelligence imagines what would happen if President Joe Biden declares and activates the Selective Service Act and begins drafting 20-year-olds to war. Now, if you couldn't tell by Biden's sudden, clear, coherent speech pattern, and I want to be clear, that video of Brandon was a deep fake, but it wasn't presented that way. God bless our troops. And God bless Ukraine. What we just played for you was a sneak preview. Coming attractions. A glimpse into the world beyond. Now that was an AI, I don't want to say recreation, but maybe a pre-creation. A pre-creation of President Biden, designed and scripted by our producers, here for the show, of what could happen. Don't want to say recreation, maybe pre-creation. That was Jack Posobiec, white nationalistly giving his audience this hypothetical like they couldn't picture what it would be like for a president, any president, to call for a military national draft without this nonsense he's presenting. And out of frustration, I was going to ask why the post-millennial would do this, but they know what they're doing. This video got 3 million views on Twitter alone. See, as was just shown, the, and I can't stress this enough, fake Biden clip ended at the 43 second mark. Posobiec and his long pauses, which he may think he's doing for dramatic effect, but really he's just taking time to imagine more scary things that aren't happening, doesn't confirm that it was designed and scripted by the producers of the show and for the show until around one minute and three seconds into the video, leaving 20 whole seconds for content to be left to one's own interpretation. And I don't need to explain why that, along with deep fakes and AI technology, is dangerous. With that said, look, for those of you who yearn for the both sizing of things when it comes to political discourse, I'm not going to sit here and make the moral and ethical considerations of tech a partisan issue that either the left or the right does or does not do or uses. However, what this is seems to be a group of people who disagrees with Biden visiting with Vladimir Zelensky and sending aid to Ukraine. But maybe their fears are rooted in the fact that Trump was one of few presidents in U.S. history who didn't start a new war or as 45 put it, his presidency went decades without a war. Although the U.S. and Donald were very much involved with war during those four and only four years, and he dropped the mother of all bombs on Syria. So are these the same people who are doing the same things they did when they were or are under the impression that 46 was going to take their guns and defund the police without proof? I will say that conservatives may not only create their own fears, but be more likely to believe them and spread them, or just make something up in the face of truth. The Daily Show and Jordan Klepper showed Trump rally attendees clips of the president's daughter Ivanka testifying that she accepted Attorney General William Barr's assertion that there was no widespread fraud in the 2020 election. Per the Independent UK, Trump supporter said, it don't even look like her. It might be one of those, what do they got? clones out there these days. Another individual who viewed the video said that, quote, I don't know that's not edited in any way and asked if Ms. Trump made the statement on Twitter. Throughout this video of mine, I've displayed several tweets from people who get it, that understand AI and deepfakes, while pushing back on weird narratives such as whatever Jack Posobiec was trying to prove. But I want to highlight this one. Quote, it's amazing that the host here thinks the thing people should be scared of is what if Biden declares a draft, which won't happen, and not look at this fake video we made up which is convincing enough to trick a large number of people. If you have to lie or create false scenarios or make outrageous hypotheticals to make a point, you don't have a point. Have you met Anna Polina Luna? Whether or not you have, 
Who she is may change, but you can find out more about her by watching this video. Find the link in the description below. And you can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright, or just click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. As always, my architect knows Japanese.